Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn a house into a home. We're going to be doing a walkthrough tour, which is a property in central London, which was picked up for a million and fifty, and we're going to be doing a resale for 1.85 million. So let's walk through this project together and hopefully you're going to pick up some points and I'll stop along the way and try and explain things in a little bit more detail for you guys to learn. So just looking at this now, in entering the hallway into the main reception room, here's the garden and then we've got a double reception room. So in this space, what we've created is a real wow factor and we've got three zones in here. One is the lounge, one is the dining room and one is this great big open plan kitchen and lounge. Love the brick walls. Over here we've got a bespoke kitchen. What's very unique about what we do is we actually create our kitchens in our joinery which means that they're not purchased from one of the outlets that some people will buy from which is somebody like Howden's, uh, Ren, it could be Ikea. These kitchens are bespoke and they're handmade with a natural oak finish. What we've also got are these external uh, steel beams, we've got a brick wall, uh, we've got some more bricks there just to give it that different texture and lines coming into the double reception room here brand new windows here uh, i'm just going to quickly go back here to the skirting what we've gone for here is an extra height skirting now what this does it gives you the feeling of grandeur and it's a small secret that developers will use However, the height of the ceilings is so crucial in this because if you've got low ceilings, you can't use high skirtings because it's going to make the height of the room and the ceilings feel even smaller than they actually are. What we've also got are full height doors uh, coming into the lobby, stained glass door. Coming upstairs, we've got these wood panels, a very nice hallway, wood panels again. First bedroom. In this room, what we've actually done is the white cupboards there that you see are actually bespoke wardrobes that were made in our joinery and in this room we've got a vaulted ceiling as well just to give it the feeling of space. These doors have all been spray painted, it's not hand painted. On the right hand side of this bedroom we've got a family bathroom. That's a really important consideration and look at the space in this hallway. Uh, this room here we've turned it into a utility room. Coming now into this wow space. Let me know what you think about this guys. This is a master bedroom, we've got some joinery there. And then that leads on to some uh, sliding doors that opens up into an ensuite. Uh, the cupboards here all been painted, uh, spray painted, and on the inside and on the out. And then we've got a ensuite bathroom here for the parents. Now, what's really important here to know is we've got his and hers basin, and we've got some really nice oak floors here. Coming out of the bathroom, turn left, and then we're going to be going upstairs. So throughout this house, we've got plenty of wow factors, but the best wow factor that we've got is this skylight, which brings in some natural light and it shows a clear blue sky on a summer's day. It looks lovely. Uh, coming up to the top floor, this is all new value add planning. Uh, it was originally a two story house and upstairs we've created two bedrooms. This is the first bedroom. Uh, we've gone for pink wardrobes. We're gonna have a desk there. Once again, spray painted doors. They're two tone colors. So once again, a bespoke finish. We've got this really nice brass fittings on all the windows, all the doors. Anything that you touch must feel quality. And then this is the second bedroom here, which has been painted in green. Once again, the high skirtings. And then we've got a wardrobe and two-tone door as well. And then the two children that will potentially be on this space, but it's going to have their own family bathroom, which is a, a little bit more modern and uh, minimalistic as well. So that gives you the house. And uh, coming back downstairs, I'm going to see you on the way out. So. That's a walkthrough of this home. My overall thoughts are, I love the space, I love the colors, I love the bespoke joinery, the detail on that kitchen and some of those wardrobes is something that's unique and stands out. With so many houses on the market, the key ingredient to success is creating a family home. And that's what I've specialized in for over 20 years. Let me know what you guys think about this house, whether you're doing a similar project, any hurdles that you're facing and what you think of this home. Lastly, I wanna talk about Sharia Home, Sharia compliant property investment and development. We've got six projects on at the go at the moment with a total GDV of about 20 million pounds. That means the gross development value how much we're going to sell those properties for they were acquired for possibly 10 million pounds and they were all acquired with 100 percent cash how do we do that that's something that i'm going to be sharing with you guys and how you guys can do that too until next time i'll see you soon take care out